The E46 developed a small new problem, but you know, that was to be expected, because that is exactly what all BMWs do. They come up with ingenious and sometimes baffling problems to make life interesting for the owner, right? This time the side mirror on the right side door started to wobble and shake, and sure enough it was about to drop off. Looking at it closer, it appeared that the mirror glass had detached from the backing plate, or from the frame, or whatever the plastic part is called on which the glass is attached to. It's free to move and appears to be connected to the frame only from one corner. I guess that is what 20 year old glue does. Some tape fixed it. For now. I mean for that moment. Temporarily. I had no idea how to remove the mirror glass, but some quick googling revealed that there are apparently two types of mirrors on these cars. Ones with some kind of tab at the bottom, and ones without the tab. At this point it might be good to let you know that I actually have no idea what I'm doing and I'm just a random guy on the internet googling for instructions on how to repair my car. So I'm not an expert, and things might go horribly wrong. Don't copy me, or do, but at your own risk, right? Good. I certainly can't see any tabs underneath here, so I guess I'll just try this off. And I'll be doing that with these plastic tools. Plastic because I don't want to break anything, and I'm guessing that these plastic tools will give me a better chance of not shattering the glass. I'm marking the heater element wires. This is not strictly necessary here as the heater element is just a resistor and it's not actually polarized. Force of habit, I guess. When you're removing the mirror glass, these are the clips you're prying off. And these are the tabs they clip onto. The mirror glass doesn't actually appear to be all that expensive. Uh, looking through all the usual parts stores, it's somewhere between 10 and uh, 20 euros. Unless, of course, you want a genuine BMW one, then it's going to be 225 euros. But it is genuine BMW. Even if you did go for the reasonably priced ones, you'd still have to pay for shipping, and then it would take you something, I don't know, maybe a week to get the part. So glue it is. The black adhesive stuff, which is not at all adhesive anymore, is also detached from the plastic frame. Some glue there then as well. All right, that's it. Now we'll leave it to cure for a couple of hours. And there's some glue overflow here, not too bad. And the same with this side, but this will be easy to trim off. Then it's just a matter of aligning the clips and pushing it in. The googling worked once again, and I call that a success. Something was learned, major disasters were avoided, and good old-fashioned do-it-yourself fun was had. See you next time, when something else comes up.